Welcome back, day 11. It's a pretty shitty situation. We're gonna make the most of it. Day 11, we're back again, EMOM 10. Five, strict press per arm. If you have a dumbbell, you got a kettlebell, you got a barbell, you got something like that, something you can pick up, put over your head, whatever it is, make it work. Or we can do a banded press. If you have a nice fancy band, you can stand on that thing, do a band press. Your other option for your odd minute of that EMOM 10 is to do five broomstick presses with a tempo of five, three, one. So it's gonna be five seconds of the way down, three second pause here, and then drive up one second nice and explosively. Of course, it's not gonna be very heavy, so you're working on ideally moving with perfect technique as you do that. On your even minute, you have a couple options of doing either 10 band pull-aparts or 10 reps bent over reverse fly. If you have some change plates, some cans of beans or something, a couple of milk jugs, I don't know, a couple of cases of water, make it work. We'll figure it out, we're in, this, we're in this together. We're back, part two of today's workout. Every three minutes on the minute for 21 minutes. It's gonna be five inverted rows, five ring rows, or five rope rows. So with those inverted rows, if you have a barbell or something you can set up, you can use that. Um, and for the rope rows, you can also use a sturdy sweatshirt, something along those lines. And if you do have a pull-up bar at home, you can sub these for five pull-ups. After that, it's gonna be 10 push-ups. Strict if you can, go down to the knees if you need to. If you do have that barbell, you can elevate your hands on a bar or on a chair. 10 step-ups or tuck jumps if you don't have any, is step two, and then you're gonna finish with 20 sit-ups. For the rest of your three minutes, you're just gonna rest, and when that three minute clock starts over again, you go right from the top. For that EMOM 10 on your odd minute, first option is to do a banded strict press. So if you put your feet in your band, get about a shoulder width stance so you have a bit of tension on the band. Uh, depending on your height, you're gonna get more or less tension. So you can notice that band's looking a little slack for our demo Danielle here. Anyway, you're gonna press it up overhead <laughs> to lock arms, keeping those ribs tucked down, core engaged, squeeze your legs, squeeze your butt, squeeze your feet into the floor. Think about keeping the whole body braced, staying tight. If you have a barbell, you can do regular barbell strict press. If you have a dumbbell or a kettlebell, you can sub this for one arm dumbbell or kettlebell strict press overhead as well. Your other option, if you don't have any of those implements, is to use a broomstick with a 5-3-1 tempo, five seconds down, three second pause in the bottom, and then one second on the way up, thinking about working on perfect technique. Just imagine that there's a broomstick in our hands. Maybe Riker can edit one in or something, I don't know. Or maybe we just work on our dramatic art skills, you know? On your even minute, for that EMOM 10, you're gonna do either 10 reps of bent over reverse fly with whatever you got around the house to make that work. Of course, you could use dumbbell, kettlebell, change plates if you got them. Otherwise, you can alternate between a silver water bottle and a roll of toilet paper. If you're feeling real jacked, you can add multiple rolls of toilet paper to make this more difficult. Uh, and you're gonna pause for two seconds at the top. And really feel that squeeze, hold it. Or if you have that band, we can sub that for 10 reps, band pull apart. Look at that catch been practicing at home. She's been throwing the tennis ball against the wall and working on her reflexes, obviously. Yeah, athletics. Putting the athletics in blended athletics. Part two of today's workout is that every three minutes in the minute, 21 minutes, starts with those five inverted rows. If you have a chair or something that looks like whatever that thing looks like, you can do your inverted rows like that. Boom, get those back gains. Uh, you can also sub for ring rows. You can sub for uh, pull-ups as well if you have a pull-up bar at your house. Just be careful getting in and out of that chair arrangement. Still got it. Ain't lost no gains yet. All right, after you get done with those inverted rows or ring rows or whatever you decide to do, we can do 10 reps of push-ups. So push-ups, just like we explained the other day, um, you can make these a little bit easier by elevating your hands on like a chair or a box or something like that. And if regular push-ups are too easy for you, you're just too jacked and you're too strong, you put your feet up on a box or a chair. It's gonna make it a little bit harder. You get that decline. You can even turn it into like a pike push-up. You can sub these for handstand push-ups if you have them and you have the space, but just don't fall on your head because that's not a good time and we don't want you to do that, okay? So be careful. If you're, you know, you're strong and you're a professional like Danielle, you can do that, you can do those things, you can do whatever you want. After you finish that, 15 step ups. You can use that same box if you do have a box or if you have a sturdy chair. If you don't have anything to step up to, it can be 15 reps of tuck jumps in place. Jump, tuck, jump again, tuck again. 
on repeat for 15. And then you're gonna finish with 20 sit-ups. Here's another sit-up demo, in case you haven't seen the other ones. Feet can be flat, they can be straightforward, they can be butterflied. You can do whatever feels right for you. Touch the floor on the way down, shoulders past the hip crease on the way up. Hey, hope you enjoyed today's workout. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, like and subscribe on YouTube to get more daily content like this. We're gonna be putting this stuff out to you every day. And you know what? If you didn't enjoy today's workout, come back tomorrow, you might enjoy it then. Who knows? We're gonna, we're gonna be, you know, we're in this together. Why does a chicken coop have two doors? If it had four, it would be a chicken sedan. <laughs>